No, I mean on uh, Instagram. My Instagram. No, you can't. You no, know, it's just in my stories. Gotcha. Do I have water over here? Did you, you took it? Yeah, Jerry, throw me a water. Yeah. No, nope. I'm not gonna throw it to you. My luck to take out the computer. All right, we're live. Yeah, All right. Yeah. All right, share it from Facebook, tag me, and then share it to uh, uh, the, the New England Combat Sports Group page. Okay, I got you. All the ones you usually share it to, right? Yes. Okay. Share it all over. They can hear us right now, by the way. Yeah. It's 8.34. Good. We got a few minutes to talk. All right, let me see if you tag me. You tag me! Let's yep. see if it comes through. Come on, baby. Did it work? Get out to the... Share. Let me go. Let me go. Let me see. Just to let everyone know, again, I was kicked off Facebook yesterday, just telling everybody. Till Saturday, 1 a.m. So I'm going to Neff with Jarrett, and uh, we will be watching it. All right, so I'm going to switch this. We're ready to go. Um... Instagram, by the way, too. Right. Yeah. We are live on Instagram. If you want to go to Instagram, Ambassador of the Fighters, we are live there. Uh, you won't get the edits that you're seeing right now. Which sit down, man. I'm going to play some uh, you yeah, know, like the fight footage and stuff. Yeah, the live is cool. Yeah, yeah. So that will only be there for 24 hours. Oh, yeah, this yeah, 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 so you can go see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, people are already chiming in and talking. I can't see comments because I'm blocked. All right, so it's Jared. Jared is the comic guy. So, so tonight, tonight Roberto, it's, it's, it's a, a basic, basic Neff show. show. We're, We're going to talk, talk a little about uh, New England. My, my first Neff, I have not been able to attend Neff, so I'm excited. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Three hour ride for us. About, yeah, we're going. We are staying for New Hampshire. So anyway, before we went on, I reconfigured the whole room again, just so we had the fight companion, where Jorgen and Castro came away with the first round uh, TKO, TKO with, with like, like, what, 10, 10 seconds, seconds or if less than 10? Uh, yes. So, so let, let me just get, get his picture, picture up right now. Like, Roberto, what's up, buddy? What's, what's up, Roberto? Roberto? So, uh, congratulations to Jorgen and Castro, who's probably, probably still in Vegas. Uh, love of life. Nate oh, yes. Boucher. Boucher is watching right now. Nate, you're, you're going to be on after Dylan. And, uh, you might be on a little early at 9.15. So, uh, uh, oh, who's, who's texting me? This is one of you guys. Oh, oh chill. Chill. me? Oh, that's from earlier. What's up, Roberto? I can see a couple of people, but you know, yeah, I can't yeah. see like the whole, the, whole, too, uh, the whole thing. So, Jorgen yeah, Castro, Lamar. first round TKO, the only knockout of the night. Yeah. He, Dana White said he wanted. This is why I got kicked off Facebook, by Defense the way. Defense got in that contract. Because I posted Dana saying, that's unbelievable. You got a contract. I didn't post any fight footage, nothing. Unbelievable. But. That's the way the cookie crumbles for Domingo yeah. 101. And uh, Richie Santiago is fighting next Tuesday. I can't wait. Which we will be. Yeah. Right, I'm looking. Look, I'm more on the Instagram over there. Know, uh, I'm, we're having another, another fight companion in here. Yeah. It'll be can't me, wait. you, Keith again. And if a couple other people out there want to join us, uh, you're more you than know. welcome to join us. Um, also, I'd like to say, listen, I want to get my YouTube channel going. So 
I can't go live on my, you can't go live on a mobile device uh, unless you have a thousand followers. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So sure. my podcast, my live Facebook pod- podcast averaged like five, six hundred <laughs> views yeah, after it's all yeah. shared and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if the like, views count if they watch it from uh, Fightbook. I have no oh, idea. Yeah, Fightbook.com. Uh, right, right, but, right, 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 um, but, but anyway, I need, I have 450 followers or people that follow my YouTube channel, which is Domenico, D-O-M-E-N-I-C-O, 101-M-M-A. On YouTube, fight, fight. go there. I got tons of interviews, I tons of fight footage. footage. <laughs> but more than, more importantly, join the page so I can get up to a thousand followers, so I can go live on YouTube, and I can, we can have more freedom I'm on YouTube. Share your okay? Yeah, but no one, it's, it's bizarre. No one, all you have to do is go join in. Yeah, so, Domenico, D O M E N I C O one zero one M M A. There's tons of new England fights there. Dating back three and a half, four years ago, when I was taking bootleg footage uh, of fights of all around New England. So there's interviews with people that were amateurs that are now pros. Some of them in the UFC now. So go to my YouTube channel. It's worth it. You might find yourself on it. There's there tons of people, people on it. Plus, you have so many interviews on there. There's, there's a million interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, there's fight footage of like, like the crowd talking to people. people just. You know, yep. go lives, everything. Domenico101MMA.com. Not, uh, what is it? Domenico101MMA on YouTube. I better have at least 10 to 20 new followers least, tonight or I'm deleting up. all of this. Yeah. I'll find you. Doing the Dana White. So, um, Adam's Darren, I'm done talking. Him. Say something. Adam's not going to support Dana White anymore because he, uh, he's he's evangelical. So, Adam Barr. He's he's yeah, that's not him. I deserve. No, I don't deserve. I didn't deserve. No, I don't I don't deserve. deserve. I What's up, Sam? Yeah, um, I am. All right, so what's yeah, going on, Jack? Not much, man. Coming off the high from last night, I'm psyched. It's about he didn't shock the world. Well, he did. No, he didn't, he didn't shock the world. I mean, well, it's people that know series. Everybody, everybody in New England, England but knew. He shot. He, he shot. Yeah, the biggest underdog. I mean, they're going to be talking about him for a long time. Now, these guys are just going to call in, I think. I think Dylan's just going to call in at 845. So. Yeah, that's Dylan yeah. Lockhart, who, if people don't know who Dylan is, because he's not very vocal on social media. He, yeah. you know, he's, he's very quiet. Five and one. So uh, most of his fights have been for CES. Uh, very great. Kim White had the best. Like, Kim White really was ranting about him to me one day, saying... Um, Saying that Dylan has the best MMA wrestling in New England, really? as well in that his yeah, weight class. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dylan is fought at 145. He's fought at the catchweight 150. He's fighting at NEF 155. Dylan was uh, scheduled to fight for CES. Yeah. When yeah. what day was that? June 4th, I think it was. That June 5th. Yeah. yeah. So that was canceled. We to uh, July to July 12th, and we'll talk to Dylan July about that. 26. Because yeah. it's still showing that he's. Fighting yeah. on the card, but yeah. that's tapology. Yeah, but, you know, all they did was move the card another month, exactly. and they just moved the fighters with it. But that's not necessarily mean the fighters yeah. were gonna stay put and not get a fight. You know what I mean? It yeah. sucks. They were they cutting weight, ready to go, or I don't know, know, ready to go. It, it got. Richard Santiago, Santiago, what's up, buddy? How what's up, doing? Richard? I haven't stopped talking. There's an echo. Is there? Free Steve. Oh, is there an echo? Wait a minute. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, Good it's call, gone. Man. Thanks, Richie. Who said that? Richie. The fucking man. Oh, thank God. All right, Richie, let us, let us know if there's something going free, Steve. <laughs> What's he said? I love it. What's up, Travis? Hey, Travis is on. Uh, hey, Richie, we're going live on Instagram now, too, which is pretty damn cool. It is. So everyone on Instagram can see this uh, for 24 hours. Richie was on my show uh, last good. week. He said we're good now. Thank you, buddy. Oh, thank you, Richie. Yeah, he there's was. my man. There's my man. So free, Steve. And can I you love believe it. we're going to be watching him in that same gym? Next no, week? and he's talking to me. I can't yeah. believe I'm talking to a, a potentially uh, UFC yep. guy yep. on my phone right now, which is like it's killer. That's killer. what I, I can't do wait. this for. I can't wait. So I can watch these yeah, exactly. guys and girls <laughs> get where they are right now. True. You know what I mean? It's just fucking awesome. All right, Richard. So Richie, we will be right back here next weekend. Next weekend. Next, next weekend. Tuesday. We're staying here till you um, <laughs> And I will be unblocked on Facebook. All right, yeah. I hope. We just, yep. So, yep. and I will never, I, I am not, I'm not, pu- I'm just sharing. You know what I should have done? I should have waited like until the morning and shared someone else's Mine. thing. Yeah, yours. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's so weird how they, but they have that algorithm thing. And Yeah, they hate me. Free Steve. They know the goods. Free the kidney stone. Yes, Travis. Free yeah, your Travis. kidney stone, man. Travis is hot. So, pain for um, a week. so that, oh, since, up, since, since Richie's watching, there's Richie right there. Let me watch this. Watch this. I'm going to make him big. 
<laughs> Woo! I'm going to make a big... So, Richie Santiago... All the good vibes, Richie. Tuesday, week two, June 25th. I think Richie is the first fight. I think. I do believe. I did have... Um, Dave Jones, he's coming. Dave Jones is coming in? He says I'm coming. All right, my man. Awesome. Oh, yeah, there he is. So, what, Richie fighting first? No, no, I'm, I'm seeing Richie pop up on the screen. Putting Richie... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's uh, your little logo thing you put up. Oh, Richie yeah. saying send them good vibes. Yeah, let's all, you know, I know Triforce had uh, people in, they were at their gym last night watching yeah. Jorgen. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. sure they're going to be doing that again at, um, but oh, it's much more fun that. in here. You can oh, have yeah. beers, you can, yep, you know, there's talk a shit. Right there, so there's a, to wait for. <laughs> yeah, there's like no one here. You can beat me up. All right, I'm, uh. First fight, yep, he said first fight. All right, cool. So it's 8.45 now. Dylan Lockhart supposed to be calling in uh, very soon. I don't have any fight footage of Dylan. His fight. From CES yep. is nowhere to be found. Well, yeah, it's the access fight. thing. You can't find any of the access yeah. to B fights. It's a, it's D really hard. Dylan's fight is nowhere. Like some of his past fights yeah. are out there. Yeah. But his most recent one, which was the first first round basic first round finish, I couldn't get that. And you know what? I'm not posting anything. Um, I got some net footage of Nate. Yeah. Of Nate's fights. Yep. And but you know Matt Peterson ain't gonna ain't gonna shut me down. No. You know no, what I mean? So. Not. Um, oh, shout out to Matt Peterson for the other day. Yeah, shout out. Um, See you Saturday, Matt. Yeah, sending me stickers, stickers, and uh, shirt, and uh, just cool magnets. And oh, there's Dylan right there. Who is this? Is that him? Hello? Hey, Steve, how's it going? Hey, Dylan, how are you? Good, good. Man, uh, let me get your uh, let me get your stuff up right now. I got, like, pictures and stuff. I want people to know what, what you look like. Um, Dylan, thank you for calling in. I know it's crunch time. Uh, a couple of days away from weigh-ins, man. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. Excited to get back in there. Now, Dylan, you had a fight scheduled uh, what, last month, Jared? Yeah, the... the uh... June. Now, uh, you had that right. fight. Now, that fight fell through because they, they moved the card to July. Um, did you go seeking a fight right away? Or, or did you, uh, like, how'd that fight come about with Neff? Uh, so, yeah, I had I had originally a fight scheduled in April. That fell through. And then I was on the CES card uh, for July. That fell through, too. So I've just been training for, like, months. Yeah, it sucks. For months, not and not fighting, just been having bad luck with these fights falling through. And then, uh, yeah, my manager called me and said that you know I could come in last minute and take this fight for any F, and I jumped on it. Smart, Excellent, smart. Now, now, Dylan, you 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 fought most of your your pro career at the the featherweight uh, featherweight weight, right? Yeah. So, but you. And you've been at 150, a catch weight, and I think you fought one fight at lightweight as a pro, or maybe two? Yeah, I fought once uh, as a pro at 55, and a couple times as an amateur at 55 as well. So, uh, how are you feeling about being able to, you know, not have to cut so much weight? And, uh, you know, how, how's it feel to fight at the 155 mark after, I think, your last three or four fights were at the feather featherweight? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Not not having to cut weight is great. That's cute. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like fight week right now. Just, you know, I'm walking around eating normal. Like, usually right now I'm hurting, yeah. you know, <laughs> cutting weight, low on energy. But I feel great, <clears throat> you know. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm not a huge 55-er, but, you know, every once in a while, if, if it's a, a, the right matchup, I'll move up. Yeah, now, uh, who's he fighting? Uh, er Erickson, right? Yeah, Jesse. Jesse. Uh, now that's you're both from you know up no, up the northern way, but are you go is Neff more of his um, more of his neighborhood? Yeah, definitely. It's it's like a two hour drive for me to go up there, so I'm definitely going into into his uh, hometown for this one. Excellent, excellent, man. And you get you're fighting for the title, which is is, is pretty cool, man. Um, like, how you feeling? This is your first first pro title you're going for. Did you? Hold any titles as a, as an amateur? No, I never did. I, yeah, this is my first shot at a title, amateur or pro. So that's awesome. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. You know, I I just can't wait. It's gonna be fun to go out there. Five rounds is gonna be a new experience for me, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. Now, um, 
I would imagine you got a, a huge, I want to say a huge following because you up, it's a two hour drive. I'm sure you're going to have a, a bunch of people coming to support you because you haven't fought in so long and you're fighting kind of, how, how far is um like CES Twin Rivers from where you live? It's about the same. Oh, like, okay. Like two hours, maybe a little less, but. So do you. But yeah, I mean, everyone's been, you know, texting me and they're like, when are you fighting, when are you fighting? And. I've had all these fights like fall through, so yeah. yeah, everyone's definitely like ready to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely get a, get a, a good group up there. That's awesome, man. Well, Jared and I will be there uh, most, most definitely. Yeah, can't wait. Uh, Jared's never been, never been to a Neff Neff show, and you've never. This is your first time on a Neff card, correct? Yeah, right, right. Oh, so wow. man, you're going into hostile territory. Yep. You're fighting for a belt. You're fighting for them, one of the hometown hometown guys, and you never fought. You've never fought on the Neff, man. That's a lot of pressure. And, and on short notice. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely on short notice. Super I, short notice. Uh, wow. I know you're excited, man. But what's going through your mind as far as you know, uh, you know, as far as your thoughts on the fight itself with all this, you know, I don't want to say stress, but a lot of stuff on your opponent's side. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, that's I feel like that's what you know. This sport's about is you just gotta stay ready, and when an opportunity comes up, you just gotta take it, no matter what. It's not always gonna be perfect, you know. Things aren't always gonna be laid out for you, but you just gotta be ready. And, and if you get a, a chance, you just gotta take it. And you know, it's a good matchup. Jesse's tough, and you know he's got a good ground game. We're, we're both brown belts in jujitsu. Awesome. So you know, it's gonna be an exciting fight, but I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm excited for it. You know. Yeah, um, dude. You haven't fought in a, in, in a little time. You had some fights fall through. I've had a few fighters uh, really talk highly highly of you. Uh, you know, training partners and people just on the outside, fighters in New England. Um, and they say, you know, they they say your your ground game and your wrestling MMA game is uh, is grinding. And I've seen every one of your fights except I think um, uh, at Combat Zone. But uh, mm -hmm. I I have to agree with them, buddy. You you. If you don't finish the guy early, you drag them into deep waters. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of have like almost like a Khabib style where yeah. if I take you down, you're not getting back up. That's yeah. my goal is to just, you know, one take down around, that's all I need, and you're not going to get back up. Exactly. And that's what you, I mean, that's what. What, what you've shown in, in almost every, every one of your fights, man. Yeah, I've been through. You, you got one loss on your record. That was against the beast, Shane Manley. Uh, and you know what? I I, I go to weigh-ins when they're... I always go to film the weigh-ins and go live when uh, when the CES is at uh, Twin Rivers. Dude, um, did you... You looked... You didn't look really uh, right at, in that in that fight as far as uh, weight. Did you have a tough weight cut for that fight? Yeah, definitely. That was... I've like never missed weight. I started wrestling when I was twelve, and I've never missed weight. Never showed up overweight, but I showed up overweight that that day for that fight, and uh, had to like cut an extra couple pounds at the weigh-ins. I was up in the attic of the Twin River Casino, like cutting weight with my my coach. Jesus. So that was pretty miserable, but it is what it is, you know. Shane, like you said, he's a beast. He's he was, you know, the better fighter that night, and you know. It went how it went. Yeah, you. I mean, you still hung in there, brother. You, all, all heart and like. I mean, Shane just took out a guy in uh, at uh, at Cage Titans, like a, a real young, uh, young. I think uh, was he under? Who was it? Oh, Greg uh, Perez. You trained yeah. with Perez. Yeah, I trained with Jeff. Uh, yeah, yeah he, Jeff's a beast too. So he is a beast. That shows you how good Shane is. Exactly, you know? man. Awesome grapple. Hey, dude, you you two guys got some revenge that to, to, to have. Man. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> well, I mean, awesome, brother. Now we talk about um, Jeff Jeff Perez at City Atang in Boston. Uh, you also train with is it P O S? Uh, how do you say? What, what's the name of the other uh, the other camp? P P M A Professional Martial Arts Academy. And that that's with uh, you know big name there young stud uh, Brendan Marat and uh, yep. you you got that other two uh, Jeff Silver is it Jeff Silver yep yeah yeah all East. all like oh, yeah. these kids bring it man yeah. you know I've rant and rave I'm good friends with uh, Brendan we talk all the time when I see him online and stuff man uh, you guys are like a, a trio of of killers right <laughs> yeah yeah uh, Jeff and Brendan yeah they're, they're great training partners both those guys are beasts. 
yeah, we kind of, I feel like we kind of fly under the radar our team, but, you know, being up in New Hampshire, but, yeah, we, we got a great, a great team, and we get some awesome training sessions in, you know, us three, and then we got a bunch of other guys who don't even fight, but they're just monsters that are training every day, so. Yeah, and I was at, uh, I went to City Odd Tongue, I was, uh, back when, uh, Jay Perrin was fighting for, uh, uh, maybe defending his title or going for the title, and I saw you guys. Uh, I saw you in there with him, Brandon, and uh, man, you got an all-star crew uh, to just get reps with. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love going down to sit. Like I've been going there since I started training and fighting uh, as an amateur, and it's awesome going down there. And yeah, I've been getting a lot of work with Jay and, and Jeff down there. And I got a lot of rounds uh, with Pete these past couple months, yeah, Pete that's Barrett. Awesome. So that's awesome. it's been awesome going there. And I feel like, you know, after going down to sit and, and spawn with all those killers, like my confidence is just through the roof. Who, who are you going to have in your uh, your corner for this fight? Uh, in my corner, it's going to be uh, Rick Hahn and uh, Rob Leone. Nice. Two nice. guys who have been with me, you know, since I started fighting. Yeah, that's awesome. Excellent, man. Uh, Dylan, are you the only uh, are you the only uh, fighter from the two camps on this card? I believe so. Yes. Oh, so all right. So you're you're carrying two camps alone on your back. <laughs> That's more pressure on yeah. you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm. I know you can handle it, man, because you are. I mean, once you get in there, man, you you're on an autopilot and you just grind these people, man. Um. Same same game plan with uh, Erickson. I mean, you talked about him being a brown belt. I don't know too much about him because he's way up there, but he's got a ton of fights under his belt. Uh, got a couple of losses, but come uh, rebounded coming back from a, from a win. Uh, how do you see this fight going? What are you expecting in there with him? Yeah, I mean, like you said, he's fought a lot of tough guys. From what I've seen, he likes to come forward and push the pace. You know, he's an aggressive fighter. He's got a good ground game. So I think that all kind of works into my favor, you know. I think uh, we'll match up pretty good on the ground, and it's just going to be an exciting fight. Excellent. Now, uh, you win this fight, brother. I don't know, tapology, I don't know if they're updated, but it shows that you are still fighting in July. Is that still happening? Or I mean, if you come out of this fight unscathed? Um, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens after the fight. Yeah. I, I definitely want to stay active and, you know, keep fighting as much as possible this year. That's what I was kind of hoping to do in these, you know, first five months of the year. I just haven't really worked out. I've been having some bad luck. So if I could come out of this fight feeling good, then, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely fight in July. Excellent. One, uh, you think you want to stay around the 155, or are you? Uh, what, what's your thoughts on uh, the class you're going to be staying in? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes, see how I feel. Um, I mean, definitely in the long run, I'll be back down at 45. I think that's the better weight class for me. You know, there's, there's some pretty big 55-pounders that would really be too too big for me. So Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Excellent, my man. You got Jay Perrin on the Contender Show. You got... Uh... Um, I don't know if Fabio Charent still uh, travels down to City Odd Tongue. I think he yeah, does, yep, right? Yep, yep. So, uh, I think so. Now, Dylan, did you, I, did you go, did you try out for the Contender Series last year or the year before? Uh, no, I went, I went out there and tried out for the, the Ultimate Fighter. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. That's, it. that's it. How was that experience? That was pretty cool. I was, I was super nervous going out there and trying out, but, you know, it was a good experience. Um, it was cool to just be there and, like, you know, see how everything was going down. And yeah. it didn't work out, but, it, like I said, it got my name out there. And yeah. it, was, it was a cool experience. Definitely, man. Definitely. Uh, Those experiences are cool. Yeah. And then you got all the, I mean, you got all the other, you got all these dudes that you train with that are, that are heading up there. Um, you know, Jorgen DeCastro just beat the hell out of someone last night. Uh, he's yeah, on his way. So, so New England's on the map, man. And I'm glad you're fighting for Neff because Matt Peterson... I mean, he treats his fighters pretty good, and um, I, I got to say, very well. Um, h how's the experience been with Neff? Your first, your first time with them. Yeah, it's been awesome so far. Yeah, I've been talking to Matt a lot. Um, yeah, they've been they've been really good. 
So I'm excited to get up there and meet all those guys and and and, and you know put on a good show for them. Excellent. I can't wait for the show. Now, I can't. Yeah. You guys at the main event. I think he's co-main. Or co-main. Co-main. Yeah, I think co co-main. Right, event. Gotcha. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, yeah. And, uh, uh, the kid that fought Joe Giannetti uh, to a tie. Yep. He's. I, gotcha. I should know this, but. I don't know. I forgot to. I forgot who. Oh, uh, yeah, but me, I think it's Harvey. Oh, yes, Harvey. Harvey. Josh Harvey. Did yes, you yes. did you fight Josh Harvey he in, did. as the amateurs? He did. Yeah, we fought. I think it was my second amateur fight. And you won. Yeah. Ooh, what did, what weight is he? Is he? He's, what weight is he? Is he, he featherweight? He's the, uh, he's the forty-five champ. Oh, look at that, Dylan. <laughs> champ, that could be say, yeah, that could be chip chip material right there, man. <laughs> hey, all right, let me let me ask you. All right, so we have we have a well a defending CES uh, champ uh, in Bruce Boynton. Bruce is kind, of, you know, maybe three hours away from you. But what do you think of a of the dude up north defending his uh, defending his title, going into Connecticut, into someone else's turf, which is the same thing you're doing. Yeah. Um, how'd you feel about Bruce? What'd you think about that whole uh, that whole fight? Because it was, you know, it it was the featherweight class. Yeah, that was that was a crazy fight. That was, you know, an exciting fight back and forth. You know, you gotta you gotta respect those guys, man. That was a war. Yeah, um, that was definitely a war. But I mean, that's a fight that I would definitely want too. You know, to get that CES belt. Bruce is a tough guy. He fought my coach Rick like way back in the day. So, yep, yeah, that I mean, forever. That'd be that'd be awesome to get that fight too. God, there's Dude. so many connections going on, brother. We, yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, hey, you win this fight, brother. Get that belt around you. I'll start, you know, I'll 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 start <laughs> sharing your shit all over the place. I'll get <laughs> I'll get you a next uh, a next fight. But it does show that you are fighting in July. Uh, you know, I think they just moved everything a, a, a month. Yeah. a month ahead and just kept everyone the same. Yep. Uh, and right. you know, like I said to Jerry, you guys got to stay busy if a fight comes in between. Uh, you got to take it. So, uh, Dylan, I'll see you Saturday, brother. I, you know, I, I wish you well. And, you know, I've been following you since, like I said, I've seen every, every one of your CES fights. And now I can't wait to kind of see you in, uh, how you, how do you handle yourself in, in, in this, uh, in this fight coming up? Awesome, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Definitely. Anything uh, last you want to say to him, Jack? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see it live. I, like I've, like with Steve, I've seen all your fights except for combat live. So, can't wait to see you do your thing, Ooh, bud. Awesome, yeah, I'm excited, man. And, and, and yeah, I'm excited, man. Uh, best of luck in the rest of the week with your cut, your lower cut now, which is good. Yeah, don't eat too much. Yeah, he's, yeah. I'm sure he's all right. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to see Brendan Murat and Silva there, and uh, you know all the uh, a few of the other training partners. So it's going to be a pretty good party, even though you can't really uh, have fun until uh, towards the end of the night, probably. You know, <laughs> yeah, right. for a while, yeah, yeah. but that's that's all good, man. I'm excited for you, Dylan. I'm glad you got a you got a fight. Uh, you know, someone someone grabbed you up, man, because you are a hot commodity in New England. I'm glad uh, glad you're getting a chance to show your skills, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, last thing, shout outs uh, and anyone you want to thank, bro. Yeah, I just want to thank you know all my coaches and teammates at PMA and Sit. Um. Fuji Sports for all the gear they've been, you know, they've been sponsoring me and helping me out for a while now. So you shout out to them. Excellent, my man. Um, like I said, bro, I'll see you Saturday night. Get that belt wrapped around you, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll promote you from there. Awesome, man. All right, I'll see you guys Saturday. All right, all right bro. Thanks Later. so much for calling so late, bro. Thanks a lot. Of course, yeah, no problem. Take care. Thank you. Yep. Peace. Awesome. He is. He is. That's gonna be a fight right there. It I can't is, wait. man. I can't wait. What an opportunity that was. I, I'm just happy. Minute. I'm happy for him. I I don't know. Um. What's up, Walt? Yeah, Walt just Walt from twenty four seven Inc. I'm burping again. Remember, I got caught mid burp. Yeah. Fucking line fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so sorry, that Jared. Do me a favor. Oh, okay. I gotta take. Uh, it's, nah, don't touch it. I'll just I'll bend down a little bit. I don't want anyone to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, I gotta get uh. It's Nate Boucher. Uh, I gotta get Dylan. Step Boucher is he on still? Uh, uh, he's gonna be calling soon. I yeah. wish he would like text me. He can call in like five minutes, but we're gonna talk a little more. Oh, we got the Neff card, so hold on. Uh, I'll keep that up there. I'll yeah, just... I think I, did I count right? There's 16 fights or 18 uh, fights. Or... Well, I don't know how old my um, my ah, yeah list is. I gotta get this. I don't up. think anything's changed from it. Which is good. Cool. 
There it is. It's gone. All right. So let me go look at the um, fight card here. Oh, wait a minute. Where is this? Neff. Where is Neff? Neff. 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 All right. Here we go. Let me put this. Neff weigh-ins Friday. Uh, let me make this bigger so everyone Boom. sees. Look at it. Matt Peterson, you better buy me popcorn Saturday night because I'm fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Big old thing of popcorn. I'll be on block Back Saturday, one in the morning. So you'll be, I'll be posting the like throwing up All right. Saturday. What is Steve doing? And here? I will not <laughs> post any more fucking live videos, anything with music. I will not you, go you live Steve, with yeah. anything anymore. So, or nothing. All right, people? I will post memes. I will share <laughs> other people's illegal fucking videos. But I will not. I Do will not. Own. Light the fuse anymore. Thanks. I can't take it. Facebook. I can't take it. Yeah, I so <laughs> back to Neff. Sorry. Sorry. Neff 39 weigh-ins are Friday starting at 2 p.m. Open to the public. Sapphire Nightclub. Is that a strip club? It's That's what I thought when I first read it. Sounds cool. Uh, an event center. I would imagine that's where the after party is going to be too. Uh, I didn't put that I can't, up. I'm psyched that we're staying 150 there, Center so. Street. Uh, uh, like, you people can read. Yeah. So, I love to fucking say this. So, streaming live on Facebook, on New England Fights uh, Facebook page. I tagged them in this video, so all you have to do is uh, press on the tag, and it'll bring you to, uh, I think, the fight, the event on Saturday yeah. night, but then you can find all this shit from there. Instagram, so, Instagram on? is still on. Let me go look who's on over there. Hold on. Let me get this shit on. Am I correct? With it's what? only going to be... The, will the fights be oh, streamed online? Me, for the fights uh, be streamed? We'll have to ask yeah. Matt Peterson. Matt Peterson, yeah. sometimes he streams them. Sometimes he just records them for Facebook. But I am not going live because music plays. Yes. And I don't want to... Uh, he. I don't know if you... True, he, Mr. Walt. Going to have all, our, all your fans tune in and follow 24-7 Inc. Yes, 24-7 Inc. Uh, on the bottom right there, what is it's uh, 24-7 Inc. Mag.com. Also... Azara, A Z Z A R A one R. Yep. Uh, duck. Uh, mag. Azara Mag dot com. Uh, I'm in both of them, or I was. I was so on Twitter. You're in, you're in Azara, I am in uh, the first Azara magazine. <laughs> I didn't get a copy of that, but um, that's all right. All right, let me look who's on Instagram. Hold down the floor. We got a few minutes. We, we got, got like you, um, we got you covered. We got like Mr. seven Walt. minutes before Nate's calling in, so. Uh, let me go look at Instagram. I'm so excited. Graham. Yeah, show this. That's that poster. And then I'll look at the fight card. I'll whip that up. There we go. Yep, that's going to be great. Can I see it? You got Mr. Harvey in there. You got Glory in yeah. there. Yeah. Great I, I fight. can't wait to meet all them. Yep. There's a couple of fighters that I don't think like me. No, uh, everybody Are you guys still you. on? Let me see if Anyone you. watching? Look, everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. No, they, nah. they come in and out. That looks fucking great, it though. Does. It's pretty crystal clear. I gotta st screw this OBS shit. 24-7 ink. Last episode, the last edition that you were in. This is too many. Can't I'm keep famous. Track. I'm getting kicked off Facebook. I'm famous. Like, yeah. When did they do it? Like late last one, night? Or? I think one in the morning. Oh, one, oh yeah. When I, when I fell asleep, when I was sleeping. They knew you were, yeah, right. I let, when we left here, I yeah. went home. Yep. I stayed up for a few minutes. I... I Checked out a couple our feed, made yeah. sure it sounded okay. Yep. And then um, that was it. I woke up and Damn and I was shut the fuck down. Yeah. So uh, all right, let me get that fight card. You had uh, a good year run though. <laughs> say that again. You had a good year run without having them. Yeah, I haven't. Yet. No, I haven't been shut down. I was. I think I was shut down for twenty four hours. Oh yeah. No, I wasn't. <laughs> it's tough to keep. I was track. never. I was shut down when I did Cameron Lucian's. Oh, yeah. they did that uh, quick. Yeah, Remember they that? shut during, us right there. The like, people are fucking watching me, man. All right, so here's the Neff fight card. So uh, there it is. So I got Josh Harvey as the main events against jo Jordan Downey. Yep. Jesse Erickson against Dylan Lockhart. Uh, so two title fights right up as the main and co-main event. Keegan Hornstra, uh, Dominic Jones. Keegan is popular around there. Yep. Um, his record isn't that great, but he takes tough fights. Nate Boucher, who's calling in in a few minutes. Wow. Oh, there he is. The He's amateur flyweight title fight is, what, fourth in line? Wow. wow. Nate's way up there in the card. Fuck, man. Glory Watson, who I had her yeah. on the show what, well, last week. Yeah, you and Richie. Richie, Richie yep. Uh, she's, see wow, fight they're all up there. Yeah, she's a beast. I don't know many, many of these other people down under... 
Joe Howard. Yeah. Howard, yeah. Joe Howard sent yeah. me a shirt. He's yeah. 2 and 0. I can't wait to see him fight. Um, I think he's 2 and 0. He's a beast, yeah. From Georgia. Lives up in Maine now. Yep. He follows me. He gives me a yeah. lot of support. He was pissed off that I got fucking blocked today. He was. Uh, Megan Rosado, who followed. Yeah. I, I like her. She's very, very cool on uh, Instagram. I follow Megan on Instagram. Um, they had a nice write up on her, Jason Landry. These are all Amy's down on the bottom here. So many fighters. Yeah. So Everywhere. there's a lot of fights, man. Yep. So what time? Seven o'clock, I think it's. Oh, I was just gonna ask you what time does it start? I think it's all seven. So. Really? Yeah. That's a lot of fights. It is. I hope they have after party. Fucking. They better be. Oh, let me show some. Let me show uh, Matt's sponsors. Look at that. Oh, Matt, yeah. love me. Love me, Matt. <laughs> Look at it. You got your sponsors in there. So Sapphire, what is the Sapphire? Let me blow that up and see what it says. Uh, Sapphire. 2 p.m. Does it say Gentleman's Club? Wait a minute. What's it say? Sapphire? Nightclub and event center. Oh, all right. Anyway. <laughs> Look at me all fucking... It's not proper. Point out looking close. for a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> strip club after party. All right. Yeah. Flag cup such a... Fuck. Sorry, I'm swearing. Maindreenscene.com. All right. What, down here? See what, that we looking Sunday? at their... Uh... Sponsors, yeah. Oh, we're going to go to the dispensary, right, Jared? Or yeah. something? Yeah. Cool. It should be open on Sundays. All right, so there's Matt's Woo! Neff's uh, sponsors right there. So, uh, I'm psyched. I can't wait. You owe me a beer, Matt. I owe you a beer. No, he's going to give me a good seat. Do you owe me a beer? I do. Yeah, a fucking Jared comes into fucking a fight <laughs> with no money on him. Well, I, 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 They're going to have an ATM, ATM and a fucking... I know, I know. I weirdo. Forgot. I forgot. All right, so we're back. Nice. So that's it. All right, so yeah. cool. That was it. Got that out of the way. Let me look. What else we got over here? I think um, uh, scholarships. Is that in there? Yes, we still... That... People apply, apply, yeah, apply. Yeah, well, the, the deadline is coming. Why can't I fucking move that? Um, where is it? Scholarships. Did I see Tom got approved for something else recently, too? Something national certification for being a nonprofit or something? That's pretty cool. Killing it there. There we are. So... Uh, the deadline is the end of June, and in August we're giving them away. Um, so apply. Oh, it's free these are money. all. Oh, these are all our things coming up. Um, we got the family fun day uh, in August, but apply, apply, apply. Five, three, give three, three five hundred dollars scholarships every year to free money. Martial artists in New England seeking higher education. That could be bulk school. It could be you know night school. Anything, uh, anything like that. All you have to do is apply, um, and that's it. That's, it. that's all you have to do. So I think it's uh, rfsscholarships.org. I do believe rfsscholarships.org. Yep. Um, check it out. You can also go to regionalfightsports.org and find the link there. Um, so we got a lot of shit going on. All right, we got a great page here. Killing it. All right, Killing get it. that out of there. All right, so we got Nate coming up in a, uh, like three minutes. Let me see if he texted. Yes, sir. He's this kid is. I think he was in the Navy. Oh, was I think he? he had a one Miami fight, went to the Navy, and then came back. Or I don't know. Yeah, maybe he well, was in the so Navy before he had his first Miami fight. But we'll get all the. He's been fighting for a while. He did. He had a fight in two thousand fourteen, and then, and then he didn't fight till for three years later. So he was Both in the Navy. I think he was in the Navy. Yeah, he must have during that time. That's awesome. So I'm sure he had some, he's uh, he's won there. three fights in a row. All by rear naked choke. Uh, his last fight, I think, was uh, like fifty-five seconds. Rear naked choke, big time, fifty-nine, big yep. time wrestler. Yeah, yeah that's, that's uh, awesome. But he, I do believe, he's really polishing up his striking. And I love to see him taking so many amateur fights, getting everything polished. Oh yeah, everything you know. That's oh, yeah. awesome. That's so he's cool. got three in a row. He, I think, he had what three losses in a row. He did. He had three. He's got two wins in a row and then three losses. And the, the, the yeah. losses he has are like split, two split decisions, and a unanimous. And it, but that means he was in every basic fight. Oh, yeah. He's never been yeah. finished. Yeah. Um, That's huge. Yeah, definitely. So, and when were the losses? Well, when he, he might came have been, back, he might have been finished once. One, one of his was last it finished? loss was a TKO. Oh, round was round it? Three though, round three. All right, and I, yeah, he was still in the fight. Though, yeah, against imagine. Walt Walt Shea, he's a beast. But yeah, two straight wins, both first round rear naked chokes. Awesome. Yeah. Who's Walt Shea? Is that who uh, we got? He did loot. Yeah, his last. Yeah, we'll talk was. about. It. Yep. But that was his last. How that was three fights ago. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's on a three fight win yeah. streak. So good for this kid. Uh, I'm sure he's just gonna call Nathan White. Who's that? See, not sure. He's got a neff. I think he's up for the neff. Probably because CS has got. <laughs> oh, he's got a neff thing. So, 
What's this? I got to ship the banner and flyer since none of you guys showed up. I was sick. Yeah, I was, I was puking. Dude. I had no choice. I was pissed. I wanted Dude, to go. I went to. I had to go to reality the next night. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't drive like two hours. They're coming back to Twin Rivers. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. Are we still on Instagram? Yeah, by the way? I think so. Ship it up, Walt. We'll take care Let of you. Let me see. From now on. Let me check this out. Let me check it out. Travis is still hurting, by the way. Yeah, Travis is gone. None of us went to CS. Couldn't. No, Travis couldn't get out of work, and I was dead sick. I was. That's I was right. I had, you almost died. I had everything packed. But I was in bed till Saturday. Right, how so. do you see this? I didn't get no notification. How do I see if this is live? Oh, because... Because you're not going to get one. Because not be, Because yours. I'm... Uh, oh, what is this? Is that it? Because I'm on my own thing? Is that why? Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm logged on to here. So, yeah, maybe because you're on your own one. Oh, there's Nate. You see? Hello? Hello. What's up, my friend? Nothing much. What's going on? Nothing much, bro. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for calling in on uh, and a crunch crunch week. Absolutely, yeah, no problem. Um, congratulations on uh, on uh, the title opportunity, brother. H- how you feeling, man? I know you've uh, you've been looking for that strap and wanting it for a while, man. How you feeling about it? I'm feeling pretty good. Definitely a lot more prepared this time than I was last time. Now, uh, dude, I I've been seeing you everywhere. You get uh. I gotta give props to Matt Peterson because he always treats his fighters, gives them the best promoting, dude. But you're getting hit from radio stations, yeah. uh, podcasts, man. Uh, you're on a fight, three fight winning streak, um, all rear naked chokes. You're fighting for the Neff Flyweight title. It's in in your area, brother, man. Uh, so oh, yeah, right in my backyard. So you, you must be flying uh, on cloud nine right now. Absolutely, you know, I feel fantastic, and uh, Matt Peterson says hi, he's just sitting over in the other room right now. Oh, oh is he? Up? Matt What's Peterson, up, Matt? I was just thanking him, uh, what was I saying? I forgot. Showing his sponsors and all that kind oh, of Oh yeah, I was telling him I was yeah. just showing all the sponsors and fight, co- well you bad guys are probably Oh yeah, he's listening, he's oh. just <laughs> <up here. laughs> See you soon, Awesome, man. my man. Yeah. So brother, and then we just looked at the fight card, you're like fourth, uh, fourth, Fourth to the last fight or something like that. So oh, yeah, yeah, late, late night for me. Yeah, dude, man, how you feeling? Any? Is there any nerves? Oh there? my god, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, definitely a little bit of nerves, but that's that's, that's, a, that's, that's a good thing. You know, that's yeah. really yeah. just help fuel the gas tank just before my fight. Now, now, you know? now, do you do you get nervous? Uh, anyway, this is just a little magnified. Yeah, you know, I definitely get some nerves for sure, but I've, I've had a few fights now. I'm starting to get the, the hang of things and how to handle them. It's part you know, of being it's an starting Andy. to become yeah. more fun than anything. Yeah, That's awesome, awesome, brother. And it looks like you're having fun in there. I mean, your last fight your last fight lasted like 58 seconds. I have uh, 59 seconds. Yep. I have some fight footage of you that I will play in a little while, but um, I think I think I have your last two fights. Uh, put together, yeah. so it'll be cool. You're a big time wrestler, brother. How did you? Um, how long you been? When did you start wrestling, and how'd you get into MMA? All right, so uh, I started wrestling at a wicked young age. I was five years old when I started wrestling, and I'm 23 now, and it's never stopped. Oh yeah. So yeah, I've been wrestling for a long time. My first ever season as a pee wee wrestler, and I actually won the New England title <laughs> for the little guy. So nice. it was definitely right from the get go. I knew that I had found something I liked quite a bit. And then, uh, you know, I took off with the wrestling thing. I was a standout wrestler up in Rumford, Maine, you know. Yep. And uh, about 13 years old, uh, Matt Peterson actually he took me down to my first ever seminar. Uh, it was Mike Brown was doing a seminar at the academy. Mike Brown, the former WEC oh, yeah. champ. Oh, nice. yeah. Nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. Head trainer, and, um, American top team. Yeah, after that day, man, I just fell in love with MMA and fighting. I knew I wanted to be a fighter. That's so awesome. So I pursued it. So, dude, you started your you started your Amy career in two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Did you go into the the Navy or the, the Navy? Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, I, I drove uh, an aircraft carrier with Ooh. my job. I, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, CVN sixty nine. Very was, uh, familiar with that ship. I was a boatswain's mate on that ship. I wow. drove it for a couple Thank you of for years. your service. Yes, thank you so much, oh, my you. man. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And and you know I drove what? Drove that thing, Nate. Because I hung out with you in Bangor, I think. 
right? Yeah, Bangor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was, uh, Bangor. But that beat is it just spit his coffee out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, sorry, Matt. Sorry. Bangor. So, yeah, Bangor. Bangor. So, I met you there. Uh, who, who did I meet you with? Matt, Matt's brother or co- Matt? Yeah, it was Matt's brother, Jesse Peterson, and then his best brother, Jesse Dwyer, and... I was with yes, killers. Yeah, I didn't even know yeah, these guys right? fought. Like, I, I knew, I knew, like they were part of like something like that. Yeah. But I, I was just, I, how did I hook up? Yeah, with I remember you? that night. I, I fought that night. I fought at the Cross Insurance Center. I fought a guy named Jeremiah Barcast, and I submitted him in the first round on a triangle choke. Yeah. So I was at yeah. the, I was at the card you fought at. The Rumble and Bang. Yeah, that was, I yep. fought at that. I was the third fight that Jesus night. Jesus August, Christ. last August. I can't remember. Really, like ago. I remember hanging Two out with you guys ago. and uh, talking to a Je- Jesse and shit like that because he fought. We got in the big conversation that he fought Greg Rebello. Yeah, and, yeah, Jesse fought some studs, man. Yeah. He was the first ever NEF champion, period, at 185 when he beat Cody White. But... Oh, oh, shit. Wow, that's I, huge. I, dude, I had a blast with you guys, man. I, I mean, Yeah, I, it was a good night. I remember it pretty vividly. It was a lot of fun. I had yeah, a blast as well. Yeah, we, we closed everything, I think. You guys <laughs> took me somewhere. I don't know. We were all hanging out in the street. And like... we, were, what is that? we was at uh, the Sea Dog Brewing Company, yeah. and then we went oh, yeah. over to Denny's to get a meal afterwards. Awesome. <laughs> well, we're going to do that again this time, man. Definitely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, Absolutely. All right, my man. Let's talk a little bit about this fight, or a lot of bit about this fight. Who is the home crown guy here? Is that? Oh, you're fighting a dude out of town. Yeah, he's from uh, Newark, Ohio. So yeah, I mean, I was, yeah. I really hope I'd have the crown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Him, so. yeah. I forgot. Like stupid me, I think he's fighting a New England nah, guy. Yeah. So you're, yeah, no, and I, I train and fight out of the city of Lewiston, so. Oh yeah. No, oh so my he, God, he dude. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. All right, so. Um, all right, so you're fighting in Lewiston. I know one of your training partners or cross training partners is uh, Zach. Yeah, uh, my cousin. Da- oh Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ yeah, man! You yeah, guys yeah. are fucking killers. They're all blood related, man. That's yeah, crazy. Absolutely. So, yeah. all right, so <laughs> he sold like 300 tickets or something like that. Uh, yeah. Is, is he selling? Married. Is he selling tickets? For one? He's getting married at this one, isn't he? Yeah, no, no, that, that's, uh, that's Cam. Oh, that's Cam. That's Cam. Say, I'm okay. sorry. Say that again, Nate. He'll be cornering me in the fight this weekend. Oh, that's this fucking awesome! I yeah. I met um I met Zach when at the combat zone when uh, Travis Lazat. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that interview. I know, and, yeah, you I know that. the kid is awesome. Man. It took the light uh the late notice fight against um. Um, Miguel Cuevas did very well in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, he came out pretty strong. Yeah, he got... And he his, developed the mental game a little bit. You know, he'd be a little smarter on the ground as well. He's, he's, a, he's a beast. That guy is an absolute killer as a wrestler and everything. He's just, you know, he's a lot newer at it than I am. He's, yeah. he's really only been training for like a year. Look yeah. at what he's accomplished. Crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's got a bright, bright future. Two, but two once titles. the rest of his game sharpens up, he'll, he'll be... Very dangerous. Yeah, and uh, you know, two two title fights a kid had. He he's got like what four fights in a year for like four or oh, five. Yeah. I mean, and then two years ago, that guy was, he had no intentions of fighting at all. He didn't really like he was not really training much. Awesome. And uh, you know, a year and a half, he's accomplished all that he has. That's like unbelievable. Yeah. Excellent. I'm I'm flashing some pictures of you and a couple of uh, Jesse and uh, Zach. You uh, Bill Jones. I just ran into him at Cage mm-hmm. Titans, man. Uh, do, do you cross paths with him? Absolutely. I like Jesus. I like training with Bill Jones. Uh, yeah, when I go down to, to Nostos, I, I cross train over at that gym quite a bit. Yeah. And, um, over there. you know, after classes or when we want to just get some private rounds in with some sparring, it'll be like me, Zach, Jake Bagley, or Bill Jones. Which, like, I, we'll all we'll get together and we'll just beat the crap out of each other. Jake, awesome. Jake Bagley. Jake Bagley. Man. Remember Ooh. that name. Remember that name, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, he's always, I've looked up to that guy ever since I was a young Kiwi wrestler. He, man, he beat, he beat this guy. I remember me and Zach Richards were actually competing against each other in a wrestling match at Noble, which is a two-day tournament. There's 32-man brackets. And me and Zach were wrestling, and Jake Bagley had a match with a guy named Brent Waterman, who is a college, uh, junior college national champion now. Yeah. And they were wrestling each other, and I just remember me and Zach we were just like, so in awe of the match, we, we were just kind of like laying there watching the match, and the ref would have to tell us, "Yeah, you need to start wrestling." And we'd just kind of be like, "No, we're watching yeah. those two. And Bagley ended up winning that match ten to nine against wow. Ben Waterman, like he's the yeah. national champion. Yeah. So that's legit, excellent, man. Yeah, Bagley. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to interview him. We did like a bunch of uh, after fight inter- interviews, but he must have been 
He must have been crawling the friggin' the, the walls after that fight, man. He came. Oh my in, god, I know it. Yeah, he came into there, and you know he came with a bunch of bunch of people that drove oh, drove yeah. here yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, proud. So oh, yeah. his you guys yeah. go everywhere. Uh, did you get it? Well, he went live. Someone went live. Bill Jones went live with his fight. Yeah. Would you? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, yep. dude, man. He yeah. he did everything he said he was he gonna do in there. He just went. Yeah. I mean, he fought a tough kid out of Lausanne's Lausanne's really, camp. Absolutely, he's one of the most fearless guys I've ever met. So good, man. And I um, you know, I ran into him at the after party. Um, and since Matt's sitting right next to you, um, uh, Bagley he goes, "Oh man," he, I said, "Oh, I'll see you at the fights next next week." And Bagley goes, "Oh, dude, you know, uh, you know, you you're gonna get me a ticket." Cause you know I'm I'm a struggling fighter or something like that, <laughs> so I said oh, I'll talk to Matt Peterson, but uh, about getting him a ticket, and I, you know I'll even pay for it. And then I just noticed that he put a post out today that he's going to be at the fights, making an announcement maybe. Yeah, yeah, he's got a big announcement coming, so definitely people are going to want to keep their ears open for, oh. for that. So, so a very good competitive fight he's got coming his way. Awesome. And I can't wait to watch Look, it. I have beans everywhere. I yeah, pick up. Look, beans. I got blocked off Facebook today for like two days. <laughs> I still got them beans. <laughs> Dude, so that means I don't have to buy him a ticket. <laughs> there you go, you know. Perfect. Awesome. That mean, I, maybe I'll buy a ticket and give it away at the door then. Right. How's, no, uh, how's, yeah. how's weight cut going for you? Oh, the, the weight cut, you know, it's, it's definitely it's, uh, a lot more effort to get down to 125, but I'm yep. on track right now and things are looking great. I feel fantastic for somebody who's cutting as much weight is what I've got to cut. You know, I feel like very athletic, very strong right now. So I guess you can say it's going pretty good. That's key. It's Excellent. key. You, sound, you sound good too. It doesn't seem like you're drained too much. So it's good. It's good to hear. Yeah, no. definitely trying to avoid getting sunken in as much as I can. You Exa know, but exactly. there's only so much you can do to avoid that. No, don't uh, envy you, man. Now oh, yeah. you you said is this your second second time fighting for the the flyweight title? Yeah, it's my second time fighting for the flyweight title. The first time I fought for the title, it was against Justin Witham, and that was actually it. he retired after that fight. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. because I know I, it, decision, it's, it's an yeah. open belt, so I either either I thought maybe yeah. he went yeah. the pro, he went pro. Yeah, or yeah just... that was a uh, the first time I fought for the title was in November of 2017. Yeah, was actually one of my decision losses. Um, and uh, I, I mean, on the unbiased opinion, those, those videos on online, it's just it's, a, it's one of the worst robberies you'll ever you'll ever watch. You guys should check it out if you have some time later on. Look it up sure and will. tell me what you think. But you know, it is what it is. You can't do nothing about it. You can't leave the judges to decide your fight. So I know that, and I'm a lot more prepared to not let the judges play a role Saturday night. So we're we'll definitely uh, bringing the belt home this time. Awesome, my man. Can't wait. Now, now. Uh... You fluctuate how many you you go between uh, Bannon and, and Flyweight or yeah I do so yeah. is that just because the the opportunities uh, that are before you like you say you know yeah so I like to fight tough guys and I've been called out a couple of times by certain guys and if I have to go up the weight class to deal with a guy calling me out I will you know um, I like I like having highly competitive fights and I like fights that are you know fun to watch so I, I do my best. To to compete with the higher end guys rather than, you know, the independent who's zero and nine or whatever. You yeah, know? excellent. And dude, man, you're a big time wrestler when you get. I mean that that that's been your game basically your last you know your last three wins. Uh, you know, f starts off on the feet, but I mean, you duck under and you just you're relentless, man, with your takedown and your your top game, bro. Um, man. Yeah, my that thanks to CMB JJ, man. They're, the way they train for me to fight, uh, you know, my the way my jiu-jitsu and wrestling complement each other is some next level stuff. I'm just like uh, polishing off, getting my hands ready for that next level. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you know, it's cool. Like I just talked to uh, Dylan Lockhart was on just now. Uh, mm -hmm. He, I imagine he's fighting. He's fighting. Eric, Erickson is a good friend of yours. You train with him too. Yeah, he's my head coach. Yeah, uh, there, there you uh, go, man. Yeah, well, unfortunately, he won't be cornering me because like one of our fights are too close together. Yeah, that's but, fucked up. But, yeah, he's that's, the head coach. That's yeah, really good for you. That's, anyway, I'm so happy for Erickson though to yeah. get the opportunity. You know, yeah, and I know definitely. Dylan's a wicked tough dude. Yeah. And he's gonna bring the heat, and it's gonna be such an a, a, such an exciting fight to watch. And dude, like I just I'm loving this like. 
I, I just yeah, love it, man. That, that, that I got you together. on, and I had Dil, uh, Dylan on, who's fighting your yeah. freaking head coach. <laughs> man, yeah, I, had, yeah. I had no idea, brother. That's fucking awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Now, now we're uh, we're showing your la your second to the last fight, dude. That uh, that was a first round finish too, like two minutes and two and a half minutes or, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, Jordan Young. That guy was a state champion wrestler. Yeah. Year. Now here's the thing, dude. Like I just showed you, I just showed that fight, right? Yeah. It took you. I mean, you had back. You had him uh, in a rear naked choke for like at least like twenty seconds or so. Uh, yeah. Dude, it, like talk us through that. Was is it just that he was just hard, so hard to put away? Yeah. Well, I mean, first off, Jordan's a pretty stubborn guy as far as getting a tap towards a tough guy. He's not going to stop until he's really done. But, uh, you know, he he got his pin underneath my forearm. You can't really see it well with, with the way the angle is and the where the ref's standing and his back turned for most of it. But he gets his chin tucked under my forearm, and so I kind of had to work with I had to I was switching him between a rare naked choke and a palm-to-palm, -palm, like mm -hmm. a short choke, to be able to kind of, like, you know, grind yeah. and grind. Yeah, by, you, you by, can uh, see. You the can blade see. of my forearm. I, you know, and eventually he lifts his chin up for me and I finish it. Yeah, yeah. I, you, I, you could tell you were adjusting, your, adjusting yourself in there. Staying patient on the kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, Did, that is. And that's, that's one of the biggest things on my split decision losses. And, I mean, even my Walt Che loss. I, I mean, that's a fight I won the first round and I just was trying. I was hammering, 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 trying to finish, finish, finish. But I wasn't taking my time. I wasn't being patient. And I, and I used so much energy yeah. to try and finish the fight before the fight was ready to be finished. Where and, that, and that's been like my main focus as a fighter is like, how do I be more effective? Or how am I, can I be more efficient with my energy when I'm in the cage? Whoop. And uh, starting at that Jordan Young fight, that was the first time I really, you know, like just, I took a step back and I was like, all right, this fight's going to happen in front of me. And he'll... The opportunity will come when it's ready. You just got to be a better athlete until that that happens. And so that's kind of like the the mindset I have right now compared to when I was, uh, you know, a few fights back, and I was just kill, 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 kill. Yeah. You know. Well, so I'm just just my smart getting getting a little better. Yeah, and like you oh, said, yeah. you're having fun in there, so you're not oh, overthinking yeah. so much. You know what I mean? So exactly. And, and what, what's cool is when you had, you know, you're on his back. You stayed in position. You knew that choke was going to there. You, you know, softened him up a little bit, but you didn't, you know, get get, you know, bail on the choke and start wailing on his head, and then he could have like, you know, maybe shimmied out or, or got a little space. Yeah. You stayed tight on him, and you knew you were going to get him eventually, dude. The next fight you had another rear naked choke, but this time you finished the kid a lot quicker, man. Um, yeah. and and the second dude, man, look. He looked like a fucking like a monster kind of, you know what I mean? Built pretty good. Yeah, absolutely, Dylan yeah. Henry. Dylan, yeah. he's definitely shredded. There's, <laughs> there's no questioning that that kid's an absolute athlete. Um, but with him, I feel like it was more. It was his first fight, you know. He had a, he made a huge rookie mistake the way he threw me. Uh, it wasn't really like a, a very technical throw. He just used his strength and athleticism kind of to pick me up and throw me to the side and. Uh, he kind of he kind of put me in position to put him up against the cage yeah. on his own. Yeah, yeah right, right away. Exactly. We we just showed it just now. He got you like he yeah. had double underhooks and just kind of just tossed you over and you and yeah. you you just transitioned right to your side, almost the Kessler and yeah. And then, well, I, I I as soon as he got that second underhook in, I saw him step in with his foot, and I'm like, all right, he's gonna try and throw me right now, so I'm just gonna go with this. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna let him put me in the right position I need to be in. His arm in between my legs and softened him up a bit and he gave me his back and it was that was all I needed. I yeah, we're showing it right yeah. now. You just finished him right in front of us, which is fucking awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, a kudos yeah. to those, uh, uh, yeah. great. Yeah, look at it. You're going nuts in there. I can't wait to flag. see. Because I can't wait to see that yeah, same I thing. Next. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see that again, brother. Man, that place is gonna be roaring. Oh yeah, yeah I definitely. Uh, I've I've got a lot, a lot of support, a lot of hype coming into this fight. I feel fantastic. Everyone around me is ready to see me win this belt, and I'm ready to win it. I put my time. I worked my ass off for this amateur 25 belt, so it'll be such a good feeling to to get that put around my waist for sure, and to show everybody how I'm maturing and getting older and getting more experience in that cage. 
Excellent, man. Now, how long ago was it when I was in uh, Bangor? <laughs> um, that was, I, I believe, what was that? That was yeah. August of 2017, yeah, yeah, I think. Yep, it so is. So it's almost August two years. Fifth. Well, a little under yeah. two years. Yep. Yeah, about two years. Man, yeah. we got a lot of catching up to do, man. Oh, yeah, we do. Absolutely. <laughs> we do. Sure. I can't wait to see your cousin again, man. Oh, man. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. he'll be right there supporting me and uh, cornering me in that fight this weekend. So he'll be there and in, in person to fight. Did, did, awesome. you do, did you do any boxing when you were in the, on the ship in the Navy? Yeah. Uh, so when I was in the Navy, they, uh, in the hangar bay on Sundays, we'd have what's called holiday routine, which is kind of like, Yep. Uh, six hours of a break, pretty much. And what they would do, they would set out, and the, uh, they would build, they had like this puzzle piece basketball court they would set up. They had this uh, boxing ring they would set up, and then they had some like wrestling mats they would roll out. And oh, that's, that's would be killer. Sparring and rolling and playing basketball. Or one time they even set up like this her football field in there, and they did <laughs> football. But yeah, there, every Sunday uh, there was a group of guys that would get some rolls in. and um, we'd go out to sea for like 60 days at a time sometimes, so I'd go down there to stay busy. That's huge. And then Excellent. there was about, I think there was uh, four weight gyms on oh, so spread out. Yeah, you, know, you, could, you could so at least stay in shape that way. Yeah, you know? keep the body, you know, the motor running, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, it's like riding a bike. You got back here in Amy. I mean, it was only one fight uh, that you had, and then you left, you come back. Uh, had some bad luck, worked your way up. Three fights in a row, three finishes, three rear naked chokes in a row gets you to a flyweight amateur title in your home fucking town, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be my biggest moment of my amateur career for sure. Excellent, man. I, I, I'm i excited, man. Yeah. Jared, Can't we were wait. talking earlier. Jared's never been there. Uh, your coach, Jesse, uh, his opponent, Dylan's never been there. So it's going to be a lot of firsts for a lot yeah, of people, man. You know, yeah, I, absolutely. I, I think the Lewis and Cole say, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but the it's that the famous picture of Muhammad Ali yes. after like the Phantom Punch where he's like standing over his opponent with his hand out. Yep, that was taken at the Lewis and Cole. It sure was. I have that in my uh, oh, yeah. head cave. Excellent. Yeah. Oh yeah, that place has uh, got a lot of fight history there. It's, it's I think one of the bigger venues that local promotions shows on. Period. It's definitely uh, one of the most. It's, it's it's one of the bigger shows I think out of any show in the Northeast region puts on. Can't wait. Without about it. Oh yeah. I can't uh, wait. I mean Neff. I mean, God Neff. You know it's funny we seen uh uh, uh who uh, who was there the Neff uh, you see call uh oh Dylan uh, Devin 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 Powell. Devin Powell. Yeah he was he was he cornering was, uh Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Did you um did you know yeah, the, did you know yeah. the the amateur fighter that fought under uh under under them. Uh, so there's Jake and then what, Andrew Hagen? Yeah, that was yeah, Andrew, Andrew Hagen, Andrew, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I grew up in Austin and trained quite a bit. It was me and Erickson did like a pr little private mitt session with Devin Powell just last weekend. Oh, and cool. We were talking about him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that kid, I mean, he got beat, and but he was sticking, the kid's tough as fucking nails, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back, oh ready. yeah, dude. You know, if, he, if he, he brought in to fight a son, you know, like yeah, exactly, exactly. Son. exactly. I'm, I was just gonna say, if he fought anyone else other than that kid, man, um, he would, he would have, they would have had their hands full. I mean, um, even, you know, even uh, I, why can't I think of uh, what's his yeah, name but, that he fought? Oh, I can't. Yeah, I just, I, I interviewed the poor kid. I only sat uh, cage, and I he's going it. into the thing, but um. Yeah, dude, he hung in there, and he was still he was still pushing forward, and uh, kudos to that kid, man. Uh, and like Absolutely. you like you said, he's anyone that Devin Powell puts into the cage, he's obviously confident and is yeah. trained. And anyone that Nato's puts in there is going to be a tough fight. Excellent, yeah, he's man. doing some good things at that gym, right. you know. Oh yeah, well, well, oh, yeah. coach like Devin Powell is hard to deny true talent that you're going to be up against, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. excellent, man. Well, my friend, uh, I know it's crunch time. I know you know you got some uh, a little bit of cutting to do. I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, we had yep. a great great conversation, man. I learned a lot Absolutely. from you. Absolutely, it was, a, it was uh, a great great time. Well, hopefully, we'll catch up again Saturday. Oh, Not definitely, man. I'll I'll have some gear with me. We'll we'll take a we'll take a. a We'll maybe have a few words together, but if not, we'll definitely be hanging out. We're staying the night, so we'll be partying and hanging out all night. Oh, yeah, it'll be good. All Looking right. Looking forward I mean, to seeing you this weekend. All right, brother. Uh, shout outs, uh, how we get in touch with you. Anything you want to throw out there, let it go. All right. Uh, yeah, real quick, I definitely want to give uh, MedCal Healing Community a quick shout out, man. That place is 
packing the house for me. That, they sponsored me just for the first time in this flight camp, and you know they got 22 tickets later, and wow. about the same amount of shirts later, they'll be packing the house for me. So I definitely want to give them a shout out. Looking forward to hearing you guys in the stands. Um, other than that, you know, I just want to thank uh, Jesse Erickson and Dustin Benoit and Zach Richards all for training me and putting me through hell this flight camp and making sure that I'm ready and I'm ready to get this strap brought home. I'll kill us. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to compete. And, uh, you know, hopefully I, could, I have a lot a lot of support there Saturday and we'll see what I can do. Excellent. Uh, one last question before I let you go. Yep. Uh, what is your, what is your uh, like, outlook for 2019? Uh, stay in Amy, get more more fights under your belt. What is, what is your future holding for you, bro? You know, it all starts with uh, Saturday night for <laughs> sure, getting that W. Um, you know, I definitely have a couple plans and thoughts in, in my head about what I want to do afterwards, but my main focus right now is definitely getting this win Saturday. You know, and if I if I can do that, you know, maybe maybe professional next year, but we just got to get through this year first. All right, brother. Well, let's talk Saturday night after uh, that win of yours, and then we'll ba have you back on the show to talk about, uh, you know, that that big the big night on Saturday. Absolutely, sounds great. Good, right. good hearing from you. All right, my have man. I, night, can't, I can't wait to see you and talk to you again. Uh, tell Matt, thank you, and I'll be seeing him Saturday. Be sharing his wings if uh, if Jared shares them for me because I'll yeah. block till <laughs> we got till you. Saturday. So uh, all right, sounds fantastic, man. Take Good care. Hear all right, yeah, man. Good. good luck, brother. And uh, you're Absolutely. doing. I, I I had a ball talking to you. You have a good night, man. You as well. You as well. All right, take care. Mm, but good kid, man. They're yeah. all good kids, That's man. Yeah. Two great interviews, yeah. bro. But it's crazy how they're intertwined. His coach. Yeah, I had no Dylan. idea. I wasn't. That I was over there man. pumping Dylan. I'm yeah. like, oh, I can't wait. To, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking. His coach is fighting. Jeez, I'm sorry. His coach is behind him. Going well, like, you know, it's, it's like, just a minute ago, guy. Well, yeah, it's like fuck. It happens all the time. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be so. Great yeah, that's gonna be good shit. Let me get Nate's. I, uh, I all the stuff out here. So I'm just gonna. Uh, <laughs> well, busting my balls. Why? What's he saying? Yeah, he's busting my balls. So let me uh, let me just get one last couple of pictures here. I'll just uh, show the Neff card one more time. Yeah. Flash that through. Um, we'll go from let's go from bottom to top. We'll show the the, the first fight. Of the we'll night show the sponsors game. again. <laughs> um, then we got how many fights? Well, I don't know if this is the. Uh, it looks like one, looks what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I think it was like sixteen or eighteen. I counted. So I'm very excited to see Megan Rosado fight. I don't know who she's fighting. Yeah, Sarah I have fight. I don't know if they're from the same area. I don't know, but Joe Howard. I want. I'm interested oh, to wait. see him. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I have. He sent me a shirt. I want a yeah. shirt. From I bought. Him. I bought some tickets from him. So, so we got support the fighters, people. Gloria Watson, Nate oh, Boucher, yeah. so, Boucher, Keegan Horstra, and Jesse Erickson, and Josh so Hobby. Many, so all. There's uh, yeah. There's like four killers. four title fights. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Can't um, wait. So good for them. Yeah. All right, let me Another show great card, Matt. Last really thing right here. Psyched to be there in person. Uh, Weigh-ins are Friday. Facebook Live on New England Fights. Just go to New England, go to Facebook, punch in New England Fights, and it'll get you there. Follow, like their page. You'll get updated when the weigh-ins come in. So I'll, I'll be blocked up until Saturday at 1 in the morning. I will... We'll share the way into the we'll, regional we'll fights. Share, I'll share them on uh, share uh, them the, Facebook too. Yeah, and then tag me in them again. I will. I so it you. shows up on my page. So uh, just to let everyone know, Jared is uh, administrative. One, he and, jumped yeah, in. I am on Jared's. Sports. What's happening? There? Yeah, we got shut off on Facebook. Uh, I went too Instagram. long. Instagram. That's yeah. all right. Um, I'm on Jared's. Um, Jared is an administrator account. on regional fight sports now yep, yep. because he is and my eyes and ears teamwork. until I'm unblocked. Teamwork. teamwork. Fucking hey, man. <laughs> so, okay, right. We both didn't get blocked. So, dude, trouble. it happens. All right. Thank you. Um, oh, so, they tell and so I will not be fucking that. posting anything ever again because I'm too <laughs> valuable to be gone yeah, for days. Yeah. I got memes yep. to post. I got shit to go. So, I with that said, um, anything you want to say? Thank you for we having go, me, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. So next week Saturday. we're doing, uh, we'll be yeah, Saturday at Neff. Yep, and then Tuesday for Richie's fight. Tuesday here again for Richie's fight. Uh, we It's going to be Keith, you and I again. We can fit three more people in here. So yep. we want three people to come Antonio in Antonio said he might come. Oh, all yeah. right. Yeah. So we can fit three, and uh, Dave Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. two right there. Yeah. So we can fit another one, so, or a couple more. Yeah. They'll just have to, you know Let's what I mean? Grow. Yeah, I'll figure it out. We'll, we'll tear Can't this wait. place up. Yeah, to fit a lot coming in. up. 
Uh, we won't even, you know, we'll yeah. figure it out. We'll see you so, Saturday. Um, in Maine, see you buddy. Saturday, and then uh, can't wait. And then next Wednesday we'll have another podcast. Yeah. We'll have uh, some of the winners or whatever yeah. on Nate. Sweet. And uh, maybe Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Jesse. So maybe with Jesse, that said, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. And again, one last time, follow, like, go to my YouTube channel, Domenico 101 MMA, so I can get up to 1,000 followers so I can go live on YouTube. I got about 400. I need 600. I know this video is going to get about 600 views. Please go to Domenico 101 MMA on YouTube. You will be glad you did because you might have a fight in there. Everything is categorized. There yeah. is different and there's a sections. ton of old fights too. Yeah, there's a ton of old fights, yeah. ton of old interviews, ton of old like happenings yeah. talking like ton of podcasts. Yeah. My first podcast when oh, I was just yeah. had a handheld phone yeah. that I put in the corner. Yep. Go there, it's fun. I got a lot of good shit there. A lot of fucking twenty four seven Inc. magazine. Too. Yes, go there. Zara Mag, check them out. Fightbook. FightbookMMA.com on Facebook, on the web, all over the place. These guys are we got you covered. covering all over the, the world. So with that said, we will see you Saturday night. Neff 39 Peace. in Lewiston.